What's up guys, Adam Elstead here with Straight Yak coming to you from the beautiful state of Pennsylvania. I'm coming to you from a beautiful little lake and uh, I'm just out here fun fishing, maybe doing uh, a little episode for you guys to view a little later on. But until then, I, guys, I wanna talk to you about my third place finish on the Susquehanna for the native Big Bass Power Hour that happened in August. And it's taken me a bit to edit this video because well generally there was a lot of catches and for those of you who don't know native uh, big bass power hour tournaments are designed like what used to be the mlf style tournaments which is catch as many fish as you can uh, at a certain limit and then obviously all those fish will add to your score and so this is any fish over 14 inches and uh eventually you know your score will build up and so i took third place and there was a ton of catches and so this ain't going to be an artsy style video it's not going to be one full of uh, you know fun times with the guys outside it's not going to be uh, slow motion and all that stuff you guys are used to this is just straight hardcore catch a fish show it to you how i caught it release it and then do it all over again so anyways hopefully you guys enjoy this let's dive into this thing my third place finish at the native big bass power hour on the susquehanna here on straight yak My name is Adam Milstead, and I'm a former USC fighter turned extreme kayak angler. I travel around the country fishing bass tournaments out of kayaks. So if you like kayaking, and you like fishing, then welcome to Straight Yak. All right, guys, welcome back. So look, when I go to these things and I fish, especially the Susquehanna, I go out there with a mindset of number one, what's the weather gonna be like? And number two, what type of bait am I gonna have to hold in my hand all day in order to get big fish, to get a lot of fish? And when I got out there, I could tell you right off the bat that I was dealing with pretty much just post frontal conditions, which is high muddy water. Uh, the Susquehanna rose up a couple feet, you know, when I got there. And so there was a lot of mud, a lot of things that, that was happening. Of course, you had overcast skies at some point. And I just knew that whenever you're on a Susquehanna and you have that sort of scenario where you got high muddy water, the thing you've got to understand is every little finesse style bait you have, leave them in the truck and just get yourself a power fishing sort of setup, okay? Your spinner baits, your jackhammers, your uh, crank baits, your uh, jerk baits, anything you can power fish, just take that with you because that is all that was gonna work. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm not a huge fan of using any style of bladed jig, okay? I like using uh, spinner baits, but there was a scenario here that a lot of people don't realize on the Susquehanna. And that is simply this. When the water rises, you will have grass and grass will be floating everywhere. And I'm here to tell you that if you've got floating grass, it makes it for a very difficult time being able to keep your bait clean. And so you're gonna see a ton of these catches of me catching fish with grass on it, me constantly cleaning off my bait. It's just something you have to understand about the Susquehanna. There's a lot of grass there. And then when the water rises, it picks it up and sends it down river. So anyways, uh, let's jump into my pre-fishing day here where I found out that simply it was a bladed jig that was going to do the work that I needed to get done. And the first couple of fish I catch is off of the old Mini Max. And I like the Mini Max because it resembled the profile of what these bass are normally eating. Anybody got time for wet weight?
Det. Annihilated this. Uh, Mini Max. Look at that. Annihilated that Mini Max. <laughs> Get your mean. Chocolate milk. There we go. Okay, so that was pre-fishing guys, and um, I knew I had a bit, sort of a pattern established, um, and it's not really a pattern. I mean, this pattern would work anytime on a Susquehanna, it's just that there are others that work better. But the one thing about a bladed jig that a lot of people don't realize is that it stays pretty weedless. Uh, it stays pretty clean when you're dealing with a lot of floating grass. And so I knew that this was something I'm just going to have to have in my hand constantly in order to be able to put any sort of numbers up on a board or get any big fish. So we're going to dive right into me launching on uh, tournament day and getting out there and just showing you guys like, hey, the bladed jig was working. Fifteen twenty five, guys. Fifteen twenty five.
15 here guys 15 keep this going Good one. Well, guess we're going to the wards because we got a good fish here, guys. Oh, he popped off too. That's what we're after right here, guys. Bloody. This could be a thousand dollars right here guys you don't know that's what's crazy about this this very well could be a thousand dollar fish beautiful guys look at that beautiful smallmouth 19 and a half inches that's why you come here to the Susquehanna Whew. 19 and a half guys beautiful beautiful fish all right. all right guys so you get the gist of it i i am catching a ton of fish we're gonna go ahead and really speed this thing up i mean just cast catch measure cast catch measure something in that order so you guys can get the understanding that all right i'm putting up some fish here and uh, i'm having a blast it's crazy i'm fishing chocolate milk but hey when you're utilizing a jackhammer man uh i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it all day all right let's speed this up
Norman. Yes. Oh, fifteen. 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 There we go. Let's go. That beautiful small man. Huh? Beautiful. 17 three quarter. 17 three quarter.
Golly. What sort of crap was that all about? Sorry, dude. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, 1575. My word, that was. I apologize, dude. Baby, let's go. I'm in second place and Oh boy, we gotta catch up to this guy. Let's go. I'm in second place right now. Made a fast power hour, I am. I just need some big ones. I need more of them. Alright guys, so that is it. That's my third place finish at the Native Big Bass Power Hour on a Susquehanna. Guys, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I just got to chalk it up to just literally just keeping a jackhammer in my hand all day, casting it out there and just reeling it back, trying to keep it as clean as possible when you're dealing with that grass floating in the water but uh was happy to do what i was able to do i didn't get any footage of me actually getting the award because i got there kind of late because i stayed in and around this area but i was technically on a float anyways that was pretty much it um man i'm just i'm so grateful and so blessed and uh just uh looking for my next opportunity to be able to come out here and go fishing like i am today but also to com do it completely competitively and do well enough in it you know anyways we're gonna go ahead and sign off guys if you wouldn't mind please hit that like and subscribe button down below but thanks for watching guys hopefully you get out on the water get yak thanks for watching straight yak